Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before 4 Diesel. Um, we got Rob back. We did his injectors and there's a problem. Oh, well, I don't know if there's a problem or not. We're going to have a look. But if we can get this cover off, you do that. Make a bit of noise. It's all this oil on the... Uh, bit of oil on the EJR cooler. Uh, any, does that sound familiar to anyone? that uh, Those people that are subscribed with the bell and watching all the videos? All right, let's get it off. Don't lose those washers. All right, let's have a look and see if we can see what's going on here. Mm. Actually, it could be, it could be yeah, any oil coming out of there, not really. Could be that under there, could be that and dripping down on the core, so it might not be the, you know what I reckon it is. I'm gonna be quite honest here. I reckon maybe someone's been leaving these a little bit too loose lately. Because if you have a look, right, I, when it's, now, so what I was originally thinking it might have been was, you know how we had that one with the intercooler and we did the RTV job for the guy, remember it was upside down, we put the RTV along here, but it was underneath there, and we sealed it all up, and by the way, for feedback for all those people subscribe with the bell on, um, so far so good, his vehicle's good and it's working, but it did have more of a splatter of oil down and around here and on, it was more down, yeah, it was different to this, this looks like does your driveway where this vehicle gets parked by any chance is it slightly nose down slightly downhill yep i'm getting the yes nod so what i'm thinking is and when you understand vehicles this is how quick you can figure stuff out and if you want to understand stuff like me now is the time to subscribe turn the bell on and start watching all the videos listening carefully get on all those facebook groups keep watching our videos and they'll all it'll all come together but so you said you took the intercooler off to have a bit of a look around, did you, or not? When I first yep. noticed it, yes. And when you took it off, did you only undo this clamp and not that one? Uh, yes. Yep, okay. So my suspicion is perhaps we've left this one a little bit too loose. Because um, I have been looking at those lately because, you know, we don't want to over tighten them and cut into the rubber. But we don't, you know, so it's a delicate balance there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to doing those by hand. So let's, we're gonna take the blame for this one. So we do make mistakes. We're gonna go back to doing all of these by hand with a quarter drive. Um, for whatever reason, we've got a little bit soft on these clamps. And what can happen is, if they're a bit too loose, you'll get a real whistle, because you'll have the boost leak whistling out there. You haven't had any weird noises like that, no? Okay, but I just think it's just the slightest bit not tight enough. And what it's doing, you've got your slightest amount of oil in your intake. Everybody understanding the engine breathing, the, the crankcase ventilation system, you get a small amount of oil in the intake. That's all good and fine, no problem. But where it accumulates, it comes through the intercooler here. And of course, you've got a lip between these two joints. There's like a, in the middle, it's like a swimming pool in the middle, down the bottom. And of course, if there's oil constantly sitting down the bottom in this boot here, which there is, and it's not quite tight enough. It's gonna run this way, past that clamp down there towards the back and see all that wetness there. You see what I'm talking about? You can see the drip there, right? If I can hold it still enough for a second. Look at that, you can see the drip. It's dripping onto the EJR cooler and being parked slightly nose down. It's just slowly making its way around. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just give this a little nip up. Can you get the quarter drive please, mate? Just give that a nip up now so we can demonstrate roughly how much. Actually, can you pass it to me? I wanna have a crack with my own here. I'll see if I can hold a camera and a tool at once, just to get an idea. Hang on, wrong way, mate. Come on, click it, click it for me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, now that's that's way too loose, mate. Who did that up? I'm not saying anything here, right? Even that one, yeah, it's not. I'd go a bit more on those guys. So there you go, right? So there you go. It's all beautiful now. It's all fixed. Anthony fixed it. Bada bing. There's your lesson, watch all the videos, and people that don't watch all the videos on how tight to uh, to uh, do these up. You know, easy job, it's lucky it's only a minor thing, but yeah, obviously uh, my quality control check, it got past the keeper this time, so sorry you've had to come back, mate. What we're gonna do now, we've tightened up, we're gonna give it a bit of a wash down for you. I actually thought it was coming from here somewhere, because it was- Yeah, no, nah, that's, it looks, because normally the fan would blow. This is why you watch these video, guys. These videos, normally with an oil leak, if you've got a bit of oil somewhere, the fan will blow it back this way, and um, it, that's what it'll look like. But as soon as I saw what I suspected, to be quite honest, when I looked here, I wanna see a slight indentation from the clamps on the rubber, and I wasn't seeing it on this one. So 
if we've done your injectors or if you've done your injectors and you've got any amount of oil like that and it looks like this so let's just have a really good look at it so you know what it looks like right if you park facing uphill it's probably not going to be down this end it's going to be back there so if you look under here how about this if we've done your injectors just go out and have a look at your vehicle and if you see oil sitting at the back there you just need to nip that up a few turns could be a turn just just nicely you'll start to feel the resistance um uh till when you know it's right so Bada bing, you know, I think maybe we're going to have to start using the torque wrench on those as well. You're joking, aren't you? Anyway, small things. Um, we'll give it a clean up. And uh, might, might be our slab of Heineken going to you this time instead of... Um, <laughs> yeah, it's all good. He's happy. Lucky you're not too far away, just around the corner. Not a big deal. But yeah, look, it, do, look, it does happen where people leave these loose and other bits and pieces as well. And, and things sometimes can be a lot worse. We've heard of... Um, workshops that have put them on and they've actually forgot to do them up or even at the turbo side and there's a heap of boost pressure leaking out so if you do get that any of those weird things or there was also someone recently that did their own injector job and he actually forgot to do up these nuts i think and maybe the bolts at the bottom and that created a whistle as well once again he came onto our facebook groups he said hey i've just done the injector job this is what i've got and i said it sounds like you left something loose because this doesn't happen there. Quality engines, good design, follow the procedures. He went ahead and checked and he says, yep, you were right. And he tightened them up and happy days. So worth subscribing because all these little fixes and things, they're all in the videos already. There's thousands of videos. People keep telling me, I don't know how you do it. There's thousands of videos, but you know what? The information's there for those people that want to be educated. There's certainly not enough people to be able to do all this work correctly. Apparently we can't even get it right. So what we might even do is get the quarter drive. The other one that could be too loose, there's always a possibility. So let's just nip it a little bit as well as the other one on the turbo side around here while we're at it. We'll just put the quarter drive on there. This one actually, I'm seeing the right amount of deflection in the rubber, you know, this this here. I think this one's all right. If you want to uh, grab that quarter drive again and get your hand in there and uh, yeah. Here we go. So it's all, I was thinking, what's going on? Have we got, um, you know, oil leaking around the injectors or a cracked valve cover somewhere? Did it somehow, because it's a bit older? A few clicks on that one as well. Because there is a little bit of oil there too, right? So they could have been blowing a little bit up there as well. There you go. Right? So we're having a recall. Anybody that's had your injectors done, we're going to have a recall day. Anyone that's worried about it, you can tighten up yourself. Or you can come in and we will... Um, give you a final check over, tighten up any of those clamps if we need to. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, what else? That's it. Running well otherwise. Beautiful. We've got Never a happy better. customer. He's still happy Never anyway, better. so there you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Subscribe, turn the bell on, hit the like button. Yeah, you know what we thought it was. You know, the O-ring in there, very, very rare. But, you know, originally, as soon as he said oil up there, that's what I thought it was. But all right, we're out of here. See ya.